Going? Mm-hmm. important to do the tops and bottoms before the front so you can properly tension it. So now that I've got the top, bottom, and side Velcros all done, now I'm going to come around and do the front Velcros. And then these you slip and crank on good and tight. This actually tensions it like a bow, so it's pre-tensioned and flat to make it as stiff as possible. Which is why it's about a hundred times stronger than most units. Or one of the numerous reasons. Now this one here, you don't, you don't uh, squeeze. There's no pressure. This is only to hold it together. So you just basically Velcro this particular one together. Um, do not tighten that one. But 
the two pieces go together first then you velcro them together as tight as you can get them so you get those good and tight bottom goes on first Put on the bottom first then the top and velcro the top velcro the bottom and again squeeze these as hard as you can get them so good very 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 tight on those then the centers go together and you velcro these again as tight as you can get them And the smooth part on the Velcro where they're touching is used to slip the Velcro around the corner to actually tighten that in. Make that super tight. Kind of use it as a winch to winch it in. Nice and snug. But this one, once again, this one is not tight. You don't tighten this one. These you tighten as hard as you can. This one, is just put on so just kind of snug not tight otherwise this one will squeeze in and uh, flex the other ones out so there we go we got our whole cage on and extremely stiff very very strong that is a flat top so extremely good now our propeller <laughs> best propellers on the market these slide together like this. They go together like a jigsaw puzzle. And if you go too far, <laughs> can't take your bag apart. Okay. So squeeze, slide together. Sometimes I like to stick my finger here, just as a guide, so it stops right there. Beautiful. Once you get all the holes lined up. So they're all straight, and you can set that on a flat surface, and we'll do our bolts. Which comes, you've got a bolt that is already, uh, has anti-seize on it, so it has grease on it. Put all your bolts through your prop plate, make sure the washer is on it. So you've got a bolt and a lock washer, but that's it. And go. Then you put it through the hole on the prop. And you can bonk these through. So you put them on. That kind of forces all the holes to align together properly as well. Now we have all our bolts on, so now we put the prop on. Again, just screw it on. As soon as you get one started, you can kind of put it over the top hole. Get all the screws started. Then we go for our tool. And you need to just tighten these evenly. And now all of these are hand tightened and do them back and forth crossing around so that they're all tightened evenly. And then once you get them tight then you can just go straight around. And you're just looking for a good firm snug hand tightening.
Beautiful, that's done. And the last thing we do is our air filter. She's right here. So you pop out the air filter. Then you want to make sure that the screw part is facing to the rear and this metal strip is facing down. No real reason, it's just for cosmetics. So we keep the metal strip facing down, the screw facing towards us, we put it on nice and level with the screw on the bottom facing to the rear so it's nice and easy to get to. And just clamp this down firm. Don't need to gorilla tighten it, it's rubber. It's getting snug, that looks good. And boom, our flat top should be ready to roll. Clear prop. Booyah, you got yourself a flat top ready to roll. Let's go flying! Woo!